They were produced by one of the most famous and skilled illustrators of his time. People, when these books came out, knew Sir John Tenniel really well. They didn't know Lewis Carroll at all. And his images and illustrations are absolutely essential to any reader trying to understand what's going on in these stories. Lewis Carroll always knew that these books were going to be illustrated. And that's important because it means that he doesn't spend very long describing certain things. Alice, for example, he hardly spends any time in describing at all. He doesn't need to. He knows that there will be pictures that readers can look at to find out what Alice looks like. So they have this really important role in helping the reader to see what's happening um, and to understand quite quickly often what some of the characters who are really quite strange, like a mock turtle or a griffin, um, actually look like. There's loads of really amazing things about the illustrations that John Tenniel provides for the Alice books. He manages to do what we'd probably refer to now as special effects with his illustrations. By turning a page, see the Cheshire cat disappearing in a looking glass where um, on two pages next to each other, you basically have a mirror image of the same thing. So you see Alice going through the looking glass on one side of the page and her emerging into looking glass world on the other side. And these are really creative and imaginative ways of presenting these quite weird, strange events to the reader.